friends, my name is Jose Luis, this time I am going to show you how to make a rocking chair. I'm going to leave the measurements in the featured comments, let's get to work. We grab the two boards 15 centimeters wide, we look for the prettiest face, we left it out and started marking it 10.75 centimeters and 14 centimeters, we mark it with the square. Seven point five centimeters and seven point five centimeters. We dotted it and pierced it with a six millimeter wick. In this way, we already have the holes where the legs would go in the camboda. And in that way, note that we are going to mark the cambodas to cut the two joints. In this way, they are perfectly the same in every sense. We are going to cut those screws that we put in, so that it is not marked on the Kambota. We begin to mark the Kambota and we mark it at 6 cm, 14.5 cm, 6 and 14.5 cm. We mark the center with the square, 8 centimeters, and we begin to place the nails, 4 millimeters from the edge, 8, 4 millimeters from the edge, 4 millimeters from the edge. We grab the flexible rod and mark it on the Kambota. We grab a circle with a diameter of 47 centimeters and mark it a little below, a small curve, there we mark it at 35 centimeters, we match it, and we mark it with a circle with a diameter of 13 centimeters. In this way we have marked the two equal Kambodas to cut. We grab the back part that would be the seat. We mark it at 12.5 cm and at 12 cm the bottom part, where the leg goes down, we center them, we join them, and we make a hole with the 6 mm bit. We begin to mark. We leave it even and we mark it at 5 cm, and we mark it with the square at 45 degrees, there we mark it 48, 49, and 6.5 cm, 48, 49, and 6.5 cm. We mark half of 48, which would be 24. 2 cm and we nailed it to 4 mm, to 4 mm and 2 cm, we put the flexible ruler and we mark the curve of the seat. We take out the little nails, there we lowered it, and we grab the rods that would go on the backrest, for that support we have to cut the curve. These would be the armrests, there we mark it at 43 cm, 20 cm, 7 cm, 7 cm, and 9 cm. Seven centimeters, nine, twenty, forty-three, at two centimeters, two centimeters, two, two, they're at four, to both, and four millimeters. We look for the flexible rule and we approach the tip by the nail. There we cross it and mark the curve. We take out the nails, we look for the circle of 13 centimeters in diameter, we center them well and mark the tip of the armrest, 
There I want to show you that in the back part of the armrest, we have to cut an inclination, an angle. There we leave it in half a centimeter, and we join it with the width the width the 7 centimeter line. And we begin to mark the front legs, to two and a half centimeters, two and a half and twenty-eight centimeters. We center them, we dotted them, and pierced them. Those would be the backrest supports, that would be part of the seat that would go down and the other on the top. We center it, we mark it 20 and a half centimeters from each side, 20 and a half. We put the nails and look for the flexible rod, and we mark the curve of the backrest. This would be the curve of the backrest. Those would be the supports below the armrest which would be 2.5 centimeters and 2.5 centimeters. And we start to cut, always leaving the line, so we get the same cut perfectly. We always take out the pieces before everything else, because otherwise, later, we remove the screws and they will come out, the two pieces will come off. There I removed that screw, because otherwise I was going to grab the saw. That's where the two pieces are going to come off. Always leaving the line of the sides, that cut over there, what would be the depth of the rod of 18 centimeters and the edge of the outside? There that cut that would be the back of the armrest, they can cut that with a saw or once they cut the armrest, they mark it on the other side also in the same way that I marked it, and they can slowly remove it with a chisel, and then remove it with a rasp. We cut the tip of the armrest, always leaving the line. That which would be the support of the backrest, is the support below. We begin to sand the edges and place the bolts, they enter nailed, because the wick is 6 millimeters. and we sand them so that they are even. Now you will see how we are going to get a little round with a small strawberry from a quarter of a cane. We are also going to pass the molding to the seat and back. Then we sand all the pieces and we go to arm. There we begin to place the rods of the seat, we present it evenly, we pierce it, we put glue and screw it. There it would be at 48 centimeters, we check that it is square. And we begin to place the top rod that fits well at the tip of the 45 degree cut. And there we center the rod of the front, we make holes, we put vinyl glue and screwed it. That space rod measures 1.2 centimeters, and there we finish placing the rods of the seat. I marked the center in 1.2 centimeters, 
We leave it in the center and move the 6 cm rods to one side, which would be the backrest. We control the squad. We always check the square. We place the 1.2 cm spacer and we place the backrest rod. And we check that we have the same size left and it is ready. We carefully lowered it, there we marked for the armrest at 14.5 cm and 2 cm and we drilled it, to place the screw on top, it always has to be at the same size. We also drilled this and placed the 52 mm screws, and we began to place the legs. We put the bolts on it. And we do not adjust them, we simply place them and fix them to the leg, so that it is half loose, and there we begin to place the Kambota, and put glue. This would be the 17.5 centimeter. And that would be the back. We control that they support each other evenly, and then we start to adjust it, we fit all the bolts. We are going to cut that part with a saw, and then we are going to sand it. Now we are going to glue and place the two 52 mm screws and place them at 14.5 cm on the edge of the inside leg. And we place the back support where the backrest rods would go, we fasten it with a press. We don't adjust as much, we regulate so that the ends of the back and the side are even. We adjust a little more, we make the controls with a tape measure, so that we place it in the center of the tip of the armrest and it has to give us the same measurement, so that the armrest is square, then seen from above the rocking chair will not be on its side. Because if you don't do this, the armrest will be on the side, if you look at it from above. We mark it at 35 centimeters. We make holes a little inclined. We take out, we put glue, we put bolts and we put it, and we adjust, and we support the backrest. to the two rods that are outside the backrest. I lowered them a little with sandpaper and matched them with a rasp, because it rubs slightly and does not get to enter just. We put two 52 mm long screws on the back, and we looked for the mark we had on the backrest support. And we place the division of 1.2 cm and finish screwing the backrest. I prepared a rod with a pen at the end, to mark the curve and you can cut with the jigsaw or with a saw, and we pass the orbital sander. We are going to place the supports below the armrest, we center them, we check that it is centered, and then also, the other side. Good friends, the rocking chair is ready, if you like it, please like and share with your friends, any questions comment, I will be answering them, 
See you in the next video. Bye-bye.